welcome to this presentation of EG7's quarterly report and our latest acquisition of Piranha Games. My name is Robin Floden. I am the CEO and co-founder of EG7. EG7 is aiming to become the world's greatest ecosystem for games companies in the world. We are all about acquiring companies, improving companies, actively finding synergies and making these game companies even greater than they were before we acquired them. The way we do this is through our service platform. With Petrol, the world's greatest marketing agency, who already to date work with some of the biggest companies in this industry, from Activision, Embracer, Ubisoft, Sony, Nintendo, to name a few. With Sold Out, a publisher that is already to date delivering titles around the globe for Team 17, Rebellion and Frontier, but also of course on all digital platform. With a world-class developer network, with proprietary technology, with a great amount of data, with already to date having 2 million active monthly users, we have a great platform for developers to come into to join in the group with their games that are already revenue generating IPs so that we can make them even greater. By adding all of these companies, we today control the entire value chain from concept to the hand of the consumer. We think that this is not only a fact that it is key to become a great gaming group overall and has many strong benefits. It is also one of our greatest pitch to those companies that we acquire to bring into the group because they can see that if they plug into our ecosystem, they are going to be even more successful than they were before. With all of these companies added into the group, we now have a great track record of over 160 game releases, 25 plus games in our pipeline and over 40 marketing campaigns. With a year so far behind us of great success, but even more to come. Already in 2020, we've had some great releases through our partners, games like Zombie Army 4, Moving Out. But not only that, of course, great marketing and also no straight roads delivered on the digital side and profitable even before launch. I'm super excited because we have a great amount of first party releases coming out. Everything from IGI, the IP that we acquired and then put into the studio that we acquire antimatter games, really merging together some of the values and synergies that we see. With Block and Load, a very exciting sequel to the first great game of 4 million plus downloads. We have some super exciting things coming out and I cannot wait to get both investors to have a chance to play it and gamers. From a co company of 11 million in yearly revenue to today over 800 million. We've added some great companies into our group, but also seen some amazing organic growth. We're really excited about continuing this journey of ag adding companies into the group and continuing to build the growth of these already growing companies. At the heart of EG7 is our M&A strategy. We are a buy and build story. We acquire companies adding them into the group and finding synergies, helping the entrepreneurs scale and improve their business from where they sit to today as already successful companies. We think that we've already proven that we have a great track record in some great prices and adding some amazing companies into the group. And this is what we're going to keep doing going into the future as we keep adding new companies into the group, finding synergies and improving the greater and broader business we see that this really adds a lot of shareholder value, diversifies our revenue, and produces a stable and constantly growing group with new IP, with more games, and with more entrepreneurs with great knowledge. And we are super happy and lucky that we've had so many great entrepreneurs wanting to join our group. Those who truly take in about half of all of the upfront in shares and this because they truly believe in our story and our vision about why we have a unique way of approaching this market. Now the latest acquisition Piranha Games we're gonna listen to a few words from the CEO Russ Bullock. Hi I'm Russ Bullock CEO of Piranha Games. I started Piranha Games in January of 2000 which uh, makes it almost 21 years ago, right here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Our break came 
in about 2011, I was really fortunate um, to establish a license for a mech lawyer, which was really a childhood uh, dream of mine to work on that brand. And uh, we started to work with that in 2011, and then that led to us developing mech lawyer online. So Chronic Games really is was on the forefront, especially in North America, of developers working on big, you know, premium size and premium featured um, free to play titles. So that gives our studio over nine years of games to service, live services, free to play game development experiences, but also, you know, what makes a game great? What makes a game uh, niche? What, what are the strengths and weaknesses? And so really finding that perfect balance between what are our strengths as a developer, but also our learnings on what makes a hit game. So we're excited to be working on a new original IP. Uh, no announcements yet on, uh, on release dates, but we're going to be balancing, finding that great balance between you know working and servicing you know, Mac Warrior uh, and developing this new IP. And this is really where it comes in and that's why we're so excited to be partnering with someone like um, EG7. Um, after being independent for 21 years and seeing where the, you know, the industry is going, the last couple of years in particular, as we were finishing Mech Warrior 5, it became you know, more clear that it was really going to be important for us to partner with somebody that uh, could provide more support. Nowadays, it takes more and more resources than ever to develop a great product and get it to market to, ha to have it stand out. So, you know, in particular with you know, the marketing and publishing support that we can receive, um, really feel like that will give us a good chance of, of making the next big hit. Um, live services product. Thank you for that great presentation, Ross. Now let's get into the details. We are doing this transaction at an upfront multiple of less than four times EBTA. A big part of the rationale for this acquisition is, I think, to anyone following this industry, quite obvious. A great company. They have games today that are running and generating revenue. They're a profitable business with a team that has 20 years of experience. To us, adding in both the games that they're running to date and adding to our portfolio and being able to work with this team to further improve both the revenue today and also the new launches as this is another company known for the PC brand that are now transitioning into console where we can add a lot of value through our service platform sold out in the publishing side and petrol and the marketing side. And we believe that this is really going to create a lot of shareholder value. MechWarrior is a franchise that has stood the test of time. It's been popular with fans for decades. And now we have two games, one that is already live and one that is getting its full release shortly. First is the MechWarrior Online, a free-to-play game that gives a great team that is already operating a profitable game that we can take the experiences from when we look at things like Evil vs. Evil. Then we have MechWarrior 5, a single-player co-op game that you can play as a MechWarrior that many of the fans have been waiting on for a very long time. It's had its early release on Epic Game Store, but now with the full updates and everything ready to launch on PC and console globally. We think it's important to highlight the fact that we keep adding great IP into the group. You can see this from everything from new games like Evil and 83 or solid IP that is today generating revenue like Mech Warrior Online and My Singing Monsters or potential in the portfolio like Mech Warrior 5 IGI and others. With a team of 20 years of experience and 70 million plus in revenue, I think the 10,000 daily active user in this game and the many synergies truly show why this is a great acquisition. Here at DG7, we always think that 1 plus 1 should equal 3. I think that Piranha Games truly show this philosophy in action. It's a company that has all the trademarks that we are looking for to bring into the group and add value. With the core philosophies of seeing that they have a community that's super responsive to the products and IP that they have, but also with many ways that we can increase the profitability and see synergies between the different elements of our group. Me as a CEO and our team is super excited to welcome Piranha Games into EG7. 
At EU7, we're dividing our business into two divisions. The service division, who's there really to create diversified and stable revenue that we can plug into our games and IP, but also to have that support platform that we've been talking about. And as you can see, we're constantly growing our games and IP part, and this is really our goal through our latest acquisition focus. This is something even more exciting as this really makes the service platform even more useful as more games and IP is added onto our games and IP division side and the revenue creeps growing and the margins will get higher. Games are sold all around the world and so we are constantly adding offices from games companies that are successful globally all around the world. We have our headquarters in Stockholm but we really see that we are a global company. We think that this is super important to learn from these territories and regions what people like in these specific places of the world and we think that this makes us stronger as a group. But it also reaches more companies that would want to come and be part of the group as we enter more locations. During the quarter we've had a healthy net revenue growth but more importantly we raised 429 million sec to give us a lot of dry powder to do exciting acquisitions like Big Blue Bubble and Piranha Games. We really worked on our efficiency internally, for example in our M&A team, we now can both integrate and do M&A deals at the same time with great efficiency. We also have opened even more talks on the M&A side than ever before, and we see that something like Piranha Games is just the beginning of some exciting conversation that we're having. So what can you expect next from EG7? We're going to do more M&A of great companies and entrepreneurs coming into the group. We're going to release our portfolio of games, really showing how these services and platform is working to improve the quality of these releases and the profitability of these releases, but also add more games into our portfolio. And completing our ecosystem step by step every day, making it more and better. We really believe that aligning incentives is a key driver of success. Management and board owns 53% of the share, so we truly win together with all of those who invest. We've also seen some great institutions believing and supporting our story, and we are truly grateful. I really hope that this presentation has given you some great reasons to invest in EG7. At least I'm super excited about bringing all of the news to the market, bringing these games to market, adding new entrepreneurs, and seeing how this company can be even larger, even better, and even stronger going forward. To everyone out there, thank you very much.